Hello! Today I'm making some Mother's Day cards. These are the kinds of cards that anyone can make. The idea behind this is anyone can get hold of a stamp and make an easy card. These are three examples of easy cards that you can make with stamps. Two of them I'm going to use watercolours and then for the third one I'm going to use my Pro Markers. I didn't want to do a lot with the Pro Markers just because I know that they're not something that everybody will have access to and the whole idea of this project is card ideas that anyone can do. So let's go! start with I got out my A6 watercolour pad. I played around with placements um, and I started with my first stamp with a teddy bear and its balloons and I stamped it down. I used a distress ink to stamp that onto my paper. For this one I used a darker colour, like a deep brown. You have to bear that in mind when you're using ink with watercolour because it's going to bleed into your watercolours. So I used very vibrant colours when I was filling this in with my watercolours so that it would work well with this burnt looking bleed. And I actually quite liked it. So what's sweet about this is you can use your mum's favourite colours for the balloons or for the bear. For the bear I use my mum's favourite colour and then some vibrant colours that I thought went well with that. And I liked using different tones of green in the bear, not just colouring it all one colour. But I didn't do that with the balloons, I just had the lighter and the darker to give them their spherical shape. I sped up some of the drying with my heat gun so that I could go back over things or for bits that I didn't want to bleed in like the background with the bear, I didn't want that to smudge. And then I outlined everything in a thick black fine liner pen just to give everything a bit more definition because you lose the stamps definition when you use watercolours over the top of it. I had a little bit more smudging than I wanted with bits of the stamp so I used my erasable Faber-Castell blue pencil just to go over those a little bit. It hid some of the mistakes quite nicely and then I cut that down to size. This one you're doing a little bit backwards. You can be experimental, you could just go whatever colours your favourites are. I started off trying to mimic where the bear might go, but I wanted to make it bigger and then have it bleed into other colours. So I put blues in and tried to make it a little bit green. And then I simply stamped my stamp on top with the same ink as before. And because this stamp has a lot of detail in it, it looked quite sweet and it was quite striking but it didn't take long at all which is my point anyone can grab a stamp and make a simple card So for the last one I stamped down with a lighter colour. I wasn't sure how much it was going to bleed into my pens, it didn't really, but then I also realised that I shouldn't have used watercolour paper with my Pro Markers because it dries them up a little bit. I carried on with it, but for next time I know I shouldn't use watercolour paper, I should just use less absorbent paper. So with these I worked in a similar way to what I would do with watercolour. I started with my lighter colours and then I'd go over them with the stronger parts and the darker parts and work my way to the darker colours. So I started with the girl and then I worked around her afterwards adding in the grass and the sky. And what's nice about these markers is that they blend so nicely so you can go back to an area and add more and it just blends in so neatly without having too many streaks.
So for this one, I decided to add the word Nan on top. So I did that again with my pro markers and outlined it with my fine liner. And then I cut out with my crafting knife the top half of the Nan and along that. It just gives the card a defining feature, a part that stands out. And then I trimmed down and then I neatened over that again with my fine liner, just parts that came up white after that. And then I trimmed down the edges to the size I wanted it to be and then stuck it over onto my card with that one. I didn't need to do anything else afterwards. I just stuck it down and that was that and it looked quite sweet. With the other one, with the bear with the balloons, I stuck that down but not central so that I had space to add more. And then I needed to cut down my other bear to fit this small card and it just looks very sweet. This card could be for any occasion, doesn't have to be for Mother's Day. So going back to my bear with the balloons card, I used my lettering stamps. I wanted to create a dark background to do some embossing over the top. You could just use normal stamps and normal ink and add that without the embossing but I have that so I decided to add it. So I did a thick line of black watercolour paint, dried that with my air gun, stamped using my alphabet stamps with my embossing glue and embossing powder and then I used my heat gun to set it and it can be quite effective. So there we go. I hope you liked these ideas. That's why I've put this video up early, to give you the chance to make your own. Let me know what you thought in the comments. Like the video if you liked it. If you like what you're seeing on this channel, then press subscribe and click the bell so you'll get notifications for my next videos. And I'll see you soon. Bye.